everybody, welcome back. It's Tech Session Saturday once again. Today marks the 500th video that I've uploaded here on this YouTube channel. Overall, I'm almost at 1,000, but this YouTube channel is 500, and to me, that's, uh, that's kind of a big deal. It also pushes my Social Blade status up, if you guys use Social Blade website at all. I think that stuff is a little bit fascinating, but uh, anyway, this Tech Session Saturday... And what we do today on Tech Session Saturday is all the Volkswagen guys here on the Pensacola Gulf Coast area, we gather together and we work on each other's shit. So if you got something that's broken, you try to bring it on out here, we try to keep our old cars running right for another month until we gather together again. Typically it's held on the first Saturday of every month, and it's an open invite. You don't have to even be in the club. Join us, you're invited, we'll even feed you lunch. You can't beat that. Anyways, we're off today. I have no idea what's going on over there. I'm showing up a little late as usual. That seems to be something I'm pretty good at. I'm uh, running the GPS on this camera, which you guys probably can see on the screen right now. Uh, that way it can show the, uh, the speed, because people like the, to see the feedback uh, from the vehicle and you know how I'm driving it and all that other stuff. I'm going to put an on-screen tachometer. I haven't gotten that far yet because I haven't found equipment that does it. It's not easy to plug that into the GoPro. It doesn't support something like that natively, but uh, I'll come up with a solution. Anyways, we're off. And we're going to have a good time today. I'm using my new microphone today, which is something I uh, showed in an earlier video. It uh, records audio quite nicely. You probably notice there's no hiccups in it, no blips, no pops, no weird clicks. It doesn't skip out, it doesn't go staticky. It's clear all the time. No more wireless technology that's, that's uh, susceptible to interference is being used on this camera or with this audio equipment. So I'm very, very happy with that. Now, hopefully all the equipment works out nicely for the rest of the day today. What the hell's going on up here? Why did he stop back so far? I don't understand why people do that. Why do you need, you know, two, three, four, or more car spaces between other cars when you're sitting at a damn traffic light? It seems to be the Florida way. I don't know. I don't see that much when I drive elsewhere in the country. Just here. Anyway... Right now we're doing indicated 50 miles an hour on my speedometer on the dashboard. And I think if you're looking at the GPS speedometer, you'll see I'm doing close to the speed limit, which is roughly 45. Which proves that the speedometer in the old Volkswagens really aren't quite that accurate. Not much of a surprise. Oh, you know what? It's also the beginning of the month. It just occurred to me. This is the first video I'm uploading of the month. And what that means is we need to do our comment contest. I wonder who won a Duckman Cycles t-shirt. Let's go ahead and break away for a second and we'll figure that out. All right, it's a new month once again and what that means is it's time to select our random commenter. So we're over here at my website. Let's go to the videos and let's look and see what was uploaded in the month of, no uh, well, December actually. Here's uh, December, December, December. Looks like we got about six videos, uh, seven videos. Let's pick one at random. Hmm, which one should I choose? Let's see. Let's do the uh, headlight repair. We'll hop into this video. We'll go ahead and we'll clip us a link and we'll shut off that stupid advertisement, <laughs> which has a jingle that just sticks in my head. We'll head over to the random comment selector, paste it in, get our comments. Okay, we got 47 unique comments. Let's start the raffle. Here we go. And our winner is Slider2732. Thank you very much for leaving a comment. Of course, you get your choice of a Duckman Cycles t-shirt. Let me know what size you are. Get in contact with me at any one of my social media links or email me at duckmancycles at duckshit.net. And we'll make sure we get that t-shirt sent out to you right away. Thank you very much, man. And once again, if you'd like to be entered in this contest, the only thing you have to do is leave a comment in any one of my videos. The more comments you leave, hey, the better chances you have of winning. Anyways, back to the regular scheduled video. Thanks, guys. Well, congratulations to the winner. I haven't actually looked at that yet. <laughs> that video clip was recorded in a separate segment. But yeah, all you've got to do is leave a comment 
on any of my videos during the month, and we're going to randomly select one, and we'll send you a Duckman Cycles t-shirt. Well, any one of my t-shirts. doesn't have to be that. You can get a Ski to the Duck one if you want to, or an Eleanor t-shirt. Any of my designs that I'm currently offering, we'll make sure we get you a free one. Anyways, everybody, thanks for watching. We're going to continue on our merry way over to Don's place, and uh, we'll see you when we get there. are looking for the Volkswagen on the mailbox up ahead. For any of you that are watching this video that would like to join us, first Saturday of the month, find it on our Facebook group page. There's the Volkswagen on the mailbox. Turn right in here and go around the back. See what kind of turnout we got today. After all the rain and what nice weather we have today, I think uh, it's probably going to be a pretty good turnout. Oh my. Not as many here as I thought there might have been. Do see some exciting, fun people though. All right, well, we've made it. You can hear just how terribly this thing is idling. Somebody noticed the choke wire was off of it, so the choke fell into any position that it wanted to, but even when the choke properly turned off, it still wouldn't idle properly. It would just stall out or just run pretty terribly. Anyway, I made some adjustments off camera to his mixture screws, and it runs a whole lot better since. Get there, man. Sounds good now. Not, it's not doing doing it now. Bro. It's a new high performance exhaust. It's very quiet. Yeah. Yeah. You should be wearing your Duckman Cycle shirt while your hat's on backwards. <laughs> hey, we got the roll mounted on something for a change. How about that? It's toilet paper for an elephant. You should have seen it. Well, you've seen the roll when it was new and it was about four and a half feet high from the ground. <laughs> I always keep a strip of that in my back pocket when I'm working around here. Just keep wiping. Now that I've it. What, uh, what have you found the easiest way to get that pushing out of there? Which pushing? Yeah, brass pushing. Uh, starter pushing? No. Clutch. Clutch pushing. Or the clutch cable hooks to the clutch forks for the throw out bearing, that shaft that goes through the side of the transaxle. Let me look and see what you're talking about because I think I might be thinking of the wrong thing for some reason. I don't know. My mind's not in gear. Let's go with a visual and turn the copyrighted music off. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Oh, that one. You got to take the uh, shaft out. That's for damn sure. Yep. And the hardest thing is getting the arm off of it, because usually they're rusted on after all these years. Slide hammer might be the best way to get the arm off. But you're doing the right thing, getting the clip first. Yeah, the throw out bearing shaft bushing. Yeah, that's the ticket. Is it all wonky in there? All loose? 
Oh, the spring that broke on the other side. The spring. Oh, okay. I figured right. it might be easier just to replace the spring. <laughs> What's wrong with it? I think you still need to get the arm off for that, though, don't you? Yeah. What's wrong with it? What's wrong with what? Clutch spring. Oh, it's, oh, it's in oh. here. <laughs> yeah, the clutch spring. The clutch spring. Got it. Mmm. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> Trying to replace this spring on the throw out arm that's outside the transmission here. And you got to get that little arm off of the shaft. And we've got the clip off, but after all these years of these cars being outdoors, they have a tendency to rust on there. And they're not easy to get off without either bashing on it with a hammer or a slide hammer or some other method. So anyway, that's what we're working on right now. He came the last time didn't have a bus, so... Oh man, the best part of every tech session. There it is. Look at that. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, mushrooms. You can have that one. <laughs> Ellen wants that. Though. Ellen likes the mushroom. She likes the mushroom. She likes the mushroom. <laughs> 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 Want some pizza, Marshall? All that that implies. Come on, get some pizza. I'm glad I didn't stop the recording. They made it that much funnier. <laughs> it's um, pizza, pizza. What kind do you like? We have different. Pepperoni. You like pepperoni? Right we there. Pepperoni. He gets the first piece today. It's going to make him famous. Famous, huh? Famous. There he is. Let's famous see. first piece. I might warn you about... Look at that. No, that one's mine. That one's no. yours? <laughs> no. <laughs> now you be careful. It is. Ellen had tasked me with a little bit of a side project here. It turned out the return spring on the clutch of that thing was not actually the problem. Uh, well, it may have been a problem. It was actually broken, but the clutch pedal assembly was not returning to um, correct position once you took your foot off of it. So she pulled apart the clutch assembly and it was just really stiff. I mean, really stiff. It took a lot of force to get it to move. So I used a torch to free it up, sprayed a little pea blaster on there, get it to wick inside, and uh, it seemed to do the trick. It loosened it up significantly until finally it spun around freely and that did the trick. Waited for it to cool down and we gave it back to her. All right, on this pedal assembly here, this clutch was like damn near frozen. I mean, it was hardly turning at all. Now it's completely free. Right now it's still hotter than the Dickens because I heated it with a torch as I was spraying lube on it. And uh, once we got it nice and hot, it was turning freely. And then I sprayed lube into it, which uh, caused it to wick in. And it's uh, done a pretty good job. Why well, I got to talk when I'm on a video, man? <laughs> So that worked out pretty good. That's funny, you ran away. <laughs> All right, we'll let that cool down because right now it's too hot to touch. Oh yeah, I still feel the heat coming off of it. Replaced a throw out bearing in here because the old one looked like it was riding against the clutch because the spring back here wasn't resetting it. So it was causing this to always be engaged, thus always turning, and that means this thing is probably going to wear out prematurely. Also, the flange here on the end looks like it's just way worn out. So this thing had a much bigger flange on it. Should be good to go for a long time. <laughs> All right, well, we're right there. Alright, now we need the two nuts. Two nuts. I got two more on this side. 
gas station that is on 98. <laughs> <laughs> You know where this tune goes? Bring it over here, I'll show you. It's hidden. It's gone. You're going to the... Next week? Probably. Probably, yeah. Coming down, everybody out of the way. We don't want that to happen because we get a fine mist spray coming out. <laughs> don't mind me. You gotta find the hole. Uh -huh. <laughs> Dude, what are you doing? Why are you writing on this filter? Well, uh, the, the arrows that come with the filter because it's such a cheap ass damn filter uh -huh. from China, uh -huh. uh, you can barely see the arrow. So, as an old man, I, I re emphasize that. Then I'll also put a date on there. Today's one. Uh -huh. Four. Four. We're running out of ink here. Uh -oh. Twenty. Twenty. See? You okay. didn't put a 19 by accident, huh? No. <laughs> but they always tell you to put uh -huh. put the full date on 20 because yeah. somebody could come in behind it and put 19 or 17 on there or whatever. Pretty clever idea, Bill. Hmm. Now, how often do you recommend we change these filters out? Uh, well, since you can get a visual idea, it depends on the condition of the tank, mm -hmm. but uh, I, would, I would recommend, like again, depending on the condition of the tank, you got a new tank, you don't have to change them as much. Most of the fuel you get from the gas stations are pretty well filtered now. So, um, do an eye up, it starts looking kind of brownish, go ahead and, uh, and uh, uh, you know, change the filter. Uh -huh. But you can keep track of it. Uh, depends on how much driving you're doing it. A lot of people don't drive very much, and the fuel that's in them, uh, unless they're burning ethanol free, um, is uh, going to, you know, the fuel will start breaking down. But uh, if, you're, if you've got a nice, clean fuel tank to start with, you know, just keep an eyeball check on this. I would say every you know three or four months or whatever. Three or four months get a look at it. Yeah, huh? yeah. Or whenever you get it up in the air or whatever. Okay. You, know, you always spend quality time underneath your Volkswagen looking, <laughs> looking anyway. But I guess what it is is that orange filter element that's in there will change color. Huh? It will. It'll, as and it that gets gives you a pretty good it. idea. Well, you can tell by that uh, filter that we've got laying on the table. Oh, yes. Did yes. You, we you, should go walk over yeah. there and have a look at that. This is a filter off of my bus, and I went... And with a hacksaw, I'll cut it because you can't see it's it's sealed up. This is a good quality filter too, and you can see the the filter changes in color. That yeah. was um, originally just as yellow as that, and you can see over a period of time, mm -hmm. and you get microscopic uh, doit 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 inside of there. Get the doit out of there. And uh, <laughs> so, and the tank I've got is never it's the original tank. It's a '78 bus, so you know it's. It's going to get that type of stuff in, but the yep. filter is doing what it's supposed to do. Uh -huh. If it, if it wasn't, all of this would be getting into your fuel injectors. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have fuel injection or in your carburetor, clogging up everything there, mm -hmm. and ultimately getting down to the engine and causing exactly. premature wear. Exactly. Yeah. So put the date on it and directional flow to remind you, and go from there. So clever idea. Thank you for that, Bill. You're welcome. Your tech tip from Wild Bill himself. Glad to be here. VW. True story. Sam Shenbury went to her interstate battery dealer and told them the battery she needed. A six volt battery for her Aussie 67. The guy, she had this long conversation. She's like, I need the model N03 with the reset sports. Oh, but that one won't fit your car. Oh, but it will. And here's why I need it. She even explained she needed it because she needed the shorter one so it would fit in the back seat underneath the seat. And the guy like argued and argued and argued for like 20 minutes and finally she's like, can you order it or not? And he says, sure, I'll order it. Told her he order it, she paid for it, she left. She came back a week later to pick it up 
he didn't order the right one. Oh, of course. Because she's a woman and she doesn't know what she's yeah, talking yeah. about. So he ordered the one yeah. he thought she needed and she said, this is not the N03. And he's like, this is the one that fits your car. He, she said, I told you which one I needed. I told you why I need it. I cannot use this battery. Take it back in order. So he just wasted her entire holiday vacation. She could be driving right now except for this guy who didn't listen to her. He didn't order the battery that she wanted. You know, it's not just women either. They do that crap to me also. Oh, yeah. You just figure out which which one it is. Like, you go in and you say, I need this part for this car. Right? I have a 67 wheel and I need this part. Oh, we don't have it for that year. Okay, can you look up a 74? You have it? Thank you. You walk out the door with the right part because you know. And whenever I go into uh, any of the auto parts place and you ask them for a part and they go, oh, you're making model. Yeah, exactly. And I say, well, the spark plug is here in my hand and you can see the number on it. This is what I want. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need to year make a model. I said, well, first off, it's a Chinese motorcycle. You're not going to find it. <laughs> Look up with the number on a spark plug. Exactly. It took them about 20 minutes, but they found it. <laughs> it happens. It happens all the time. That's it. What are you looking at my shoes now? Yeah, what are you wearing on your feet? Tell yeah. us about your footwear, Ellen. My Jubu duck shoes. <laughs> I know there's a lot of YouTubers out there that want to know about your feet. Oh, well, it's raining all day, so my feet are nice and warm and toasty. They didn't get wet at all. Do you have YouTube on your shirt? Good. Tell them about the, the pedal reassembly, te the pedal cleanup, and... and oh, oh uh, are you... Our users, <laughs> our viewers would have already known that because I would have narrated over it, which I haven't recorded yet. Oh. But I'll be recording the narration over the work that I was doing Can earlier. You be but over the swear words that I put forth. You know, I didn't hear any actually because your head was buried underneath the dashboard there, <laughs> while you were about six feet in the air. They're probably going to hear about how I was farting and how the pizza was coming back up because I was upside down. Yeah, I should have filmed you with your butt in the air. <laughs> thank you for not doing that. I, I think your I think your viewers will also thank you for not. You know, doing actually, that. what I should have done was taken a selfie with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with my tramp stamp hanging out. That's it. Actually, that was covered. It only popped out once or twice. What is it anyway? It looked like a squid or something. That's uh, not a squid. It's just a rose. <laughs> it's a rose? Well, it looked know. like it had like vines or something. It does then. Have vines. Okay. Yeah. Tentacles. Yeah. Something like that. Anyway. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's an octopus rose. It's Throw a rose. Yeah. It's an orchid. It's an orchid octopus. It's an octopus. I've seen your tattoos, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Pictures of them, right? Most of them. Pictures? Like yeah. pictures of sweet tea? No. <laughs> no. Oh wow! That would be anyway. Cool. It's very warm and cozy up here. You know, they they say the heat rises. It's nice and warm. I'm not getting a breeze. I could poot. Please oh, don't do that. On, It'll go up though. We keep you warm. I think there's been enough of that going on in this I'm sharing car today. my winter warmth with you. There's been an awful lot of that going on in this car today. Yeah, no, this pedal oh, assembly, oh. It's, all, it's all clean now, and the floor's all clean, and there's no more dirt here. See, it shows how the something. pedals work. They work great now. There you go. Look at that. They return. It's a clutch. Whereas before, it didn't return. Oh, sorry, I just hit the brakes. Oh, oh did you get a squirter? They're pretty mushy. Oh, stop it. Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> what did you discover? I uh, almost got wet. No, why is it pissing? Because he's got the bleeder open. Oh, I didn't know we were bleeding brakes. Well, what he's doing is he's opening the bleeder to see if that is why the brakes so are locked it's up. It's not that, it's just the brake shoe is welding itself onto Well, we've got fluid. Well, we know that the brake lines are okay then, so. <laughs> yeah, there's fluid. All right. Are you wearing your glasses? Good. Sorry, Bill. Good, good. It got him, but he had glasses on, so he's all right. Sorry, Bill. Okay, there's a lot of good little features in here. If you get any in your eye at all, go rinse. Yeah, if you get any in there, just give it a rinse. It'll come out because it's hydroscopic and a little wash. It's not like oil and electric come out. Yeah, it looks like Ellen had a little pump down here and Ellen squirted. While wow, Bill's hammering away. Don't do it again, Ellen. Yes, <laughs> right, so here's the it, it actually locked? Or is they, it just sticking? It's it's no. The, the weld the rust is welded to the drum. So it is locked, locked in. Oh my. But we rolled it in here. Well. Bell. Oh, hello. <laughs> I don't know why that came on all of a sudden. Oh my.
Don't lift it off the lid. I know, but it's, it's, yeah, it's broke. <laughs> Holy crap. But it was rolling until it got in here. Yeah. Okay. What are you doing? You got all the... Oop, that little... The hook cap is going to fall off. Keep him from going away. Thank you. Right. Owen Wilson was saying, Wow. Wow. <laughs> you know what I'm talking wow. about. Wow. 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 That 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 California really high, really relaxed kind of Wow. Wow. So Wow. 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 Oh wow. Because I'm a white albino shaven gorilla. Yeah. You see, I got I got four arms, but he's got Popeye arms. Boo! <laughs> hey, olive oil. <laughs> yep. Watch me back press a Volkswagen. Oh, bum, 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 bum. <laughs> <laughs> you got yellow arms. Yellow arms. Yellow arms. <laughs> you don't look like yellow. It doesn't look good. Yeah. They're yellow. They have a yellow belly. Yeah, Bill Cosby. Look. Oh, the Jello pudding pup. <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of one I had to practice a little more. Oh yeah. I know what he sounds like. I just never really done it. <laughs> zibby zabby zibby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going zip zop zoom in the bop. 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 Zoom in the The pudding pup. <laughs> <laughs> Buster, Buster, Buster Rhymes. No. Buster, 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 Buster. No, say, say Buster. You know what that Buster? is? Buster. Buster. Yes. Buster? Stop. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> it means stop. It's like spaghetti. No. From what language? Italiano. Oh. Italiano. Buster. 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 You hear that? You hear oh, right. going, I thought they were pasta. calling them, you know, the, the B word. Pasta, pasta. <laughs> well, we you know what? It oh, wouldn't be hard. It's free. It's free. Yeah, it's free. Okay. We could do that. Do it. Wheel comes yeah. over. Ah. It's free earth, not free. Down yeah. there and spin okay. it. Okay. What are you pulling? Much better. Oh, look at that. Look at old Papa. Uh-uh. Oh. <laughs> this is a steering wheel to me. <laughs> <laughs> a bus yeah, steering wheel. That's good. A bus steering wheel. Oh, oh, I need to put that. Right? need to put that on there first. Yeah. 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 Geppetto? Geppetto. Mm. Geppetto. He's the guy that made that pistachio. What's that thing? Next thing. <laughs> almost, almost ready to let you down, Ellen. Don't Next. let me down. Turns. 
you do is you put a tow bar on it, drag it for a few miles, it'll really loosen up. <laughs> I'm driving, God, it's so on the clutch. Spin it. Spin it, spin it. Yeah. yeah. Not setting any speed records here. Well. <laughs> I'm trying to set one. What, what time it is anyway? About six. Five fifty-two. Close enough. Golly, I'm getting good. What? Your, so your driver's license your belly <laughs> yeah. You realize that you were not speeding. <laughs> You were too high, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. There's good compression in there. You can hear it. Yeah. But that's not the problem. What's the problem? Um, the fluid. Oh, okay. yeah. Here. It's juice. The points. Oh. Uh, are new. Okay. They, it's been sitting, so there might be condensation in there. there might be sitting. Well, it uh, it started the light, so I don't think it's yeah, that. Yeah, crank, crank it over. Crank it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> nice stick, Bill. <laughs> Great coincidence, I gotta say. <laughs> Beetle was doing that actually. Yeah, yeah I was it's having a problem firing only at idle. Yeah. I was having trouble firing at a couple cylinders. Huh? Does that mean it needs to be? Uh, yeah, it meant something was not quite right on. But that was super flooded out. Yeah. And like he said, that's for something that's been cranked in months. It actually sounds pretty good yeah, after all that. Too rich. It's even idling, right? Yeah, for a Weber Progressive, that's uh, well for an engine who have sat too for a while yeah. and it just fired right up and it's, uh, it doesn't April. need any additional tweaking uh, much. Good lord, April. Uh, mm -hmm. Eight months. Water. Shorty. Short. Mm-hmm. 
You well, blow them little bitty screwdrivers, man. <laughs> that concludes tech session, then, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> get this thing up it on. is. It's getting cold out here tonight. Yeah. What about, it's supposed to be uh, just above freezing. Adjustment. It's already just. Well, you won't really know until you get it. We're going to so find out here about... You uh, may have to snug it up a little bit after you stretch it by driving it, so... Right. Well, what, but you'll know. What, what, do, you, do you guys lift it back up and forward and reverse? What now? Do y'all do that, your first initial clutch adjustment with it up off the ground? Or no, just, no, no. We it doesn't matter where it's at. We didn't want it. It was easier to get to. Yeah. That was it. It's the only reason. The way I do it is I just take the left side wheel off and you can reach it right that way too. There's more parts. Oh, bumpers and shit. Yeah, this has to go up in the air. It'd be easier, wouldn't it? We'll put that box back the and, uh, <laughs> No, don't you need the bumper to strap it down? I'm just about to leave tech session and the damn throttle cable snaps unbelievable but guess what that's right the duck man keeps it spare I'll have this thing changed in just a couple minutes <laughs> but I'm the last person out of here and of course I just stepped on the throttle and the little z-shaped end that goes in the throttle pedal just came right off that was the end of the cable toast so well we'll get that fixed thanks for watching everybody don't forget licky likey give me that thumbs up leave a comment Appreciate you guys. We'll see you next time. Say bye, Bill. See you later. You always need an extra eight millimeter wrench. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Bill. Appreciate that. It.